Well, hello, beautiful people. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me, and I definitely appreciate that. So all the new people stopping by my channel, hi, you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you're notified each time I post a video. And to all my returning subscribers, welcome hey. to another episode of Jess Timber, you guys. If you are new here, my name is Jessica, and this is my channel, Just Living Life. And Just Timber is pretty much a play on words with Jessica and September. And that is where I post a new video every single day in September. Y'all, I can't sing, but that's when I post a video every single day. So, yeah, you guys. So, on this episode of Just Timber, I'm going to talk to you guys about what happens when you reach 1K subscribers. Y'all, people don't tell you what happens when you reach 1K. So if you want to know what happens when you reach 1K, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, you guys. So if you see me looking down, it's because I have my handy dandy YouTube notebook. Um, and that is where pretty much I write down all of the stuff that I'm working on and my different ideas and all the things. So if you see me looking down, that is what I'm looking down at. So let's get into the things that I realized that happens when you reach 1K subscribers. I have seven tips, you guys. So number one is you get your community tab. We all know that. The community tab is where you can kind of post like previews or you can do polls or things like that with your audience or with people who aren't even in your audience yet. However, there's a caveat that community tab does not come instantly it doesn't i was literally waiting like oh it's gonna be here today tomorrow the next day the next day y'all it literally took one week to the day an hour so i got my 1k i reached my 1k probably about seven o'clock on a tuesday okay on that following Tuesday at about six o'clock is when I got my community tab. Like YouTube was like, let me make sure you got all of the things because we're not just throwing out this <laughs> community tab all willy nilly. So just be a little bit patient and know that it does take one week from the day that you actually got your, that you actually got your 1000 subscribers. Number two is you still got to get those watch hours, baby. If you don't have your watch hours, if you don't have your 4K watch hours, then you still need to get your watch hours. Now, my auntie, I have officially adopted her into my family in my head because I've never met her. Vern's Junk Closet. I actually reached my 1K in her, in her live. So, and she has, she is YouTube's, biggest cheerleader y'all if y'all do not have her channel i'm gonna have it here but Vern's junk closet auntie Vern, y'all she really encourages you to just put your best foot forward with youtube and she says that once you reach 500 subscribers you should be working on your watch time clearly i missed that because i didn't find Vern until probably about a couple months ago but going back through her vlogs she has said that once you reach 500 subscribers, start grinding with those watch hours. And so if you're already at 500, go ahead and grind. If you're at 1,000, keep grinding. I'm grinding right now. I think right now I'm getting close to 1,700 watch hours. So that still means I have 2,300 more to go. So if you have it in your heart to run one of my playlists, by all means, run it. So help me get these watch hours. But just know... And that you still have to keep keep it up with those watch hours. They you don't automatically become monetized. So number three, your monetization screen. And when you look in your YouTube studio on the left hand side of your screen towards the middle will be your monetization screen. This is what YouTube goes by. Now you'll be able to see your subscribers go up and you'll be able to see your watch time go up. This is the most accurate information that you will have with your channel regarding your watch time and your subscribers. Now, when you're under 1K, your subscribers go up by one. So if you get 963, okay, 964, 965, like that's fine. But once you 
reach 1K, it goes by tens. And so I was getting nervous because on the front page of my YouTube studio, it would say I would have 1,022 subscribers. But on that monetization screen, it would say 1,020 subscribers. So keep that in mind. It goes up by tens. So after you reach 1K, it's 1,010, 1,020, 1,030. It goes on like that. So don't be freaked out like how I was. So number four on my list is once you reach 1K subscribers, you can go live from YouTube on your phone. I know. Isn't that awesome? You can go live from your phone. However, I am not going live from my phone because it doesn't give you all the graphics and things of that nature that other platforms give you. I actually use StreamYard before all of my like um, lives and things like that. So I use that because it gives me the ability to have a ticker. I can have a banner. I can put my name up. I can, you know, I can do all of the things. I can invite somebody into the live. So definitely keep that in mind. When you reach your 1K, you can go live from your phone. So if you're in the grocery store and you want to do a grocery shop with me and you're just walking around, you can go live. So number six on my list says, people will say once you reach 1K subscribers, your channel gets pushed. I'm not so sure if that is true because my channel has been growing at the same rate. I haven't noticed that it's been pushed. But I will say that it does look nice to have the 1K on my screen versus 500 or whatever. So people actually see like, oh, okay, she has a 1,000 subscribers. So I think that's the only thing. I haven't seen a difference in my growth, but I'm also vlogging every day. So in that regard, I see an increase in my watch time and things of that nature. But as far as like me being 1K, I don't see I don't see where YouTube is pushing it, especially when I'm looking at my analytics. It's pretty much just me pushing my video. They push a little bit, but not as much as I'm pushing. So number seven on my list, you guys, once you reach your 1K, you are officially a part of the Opal Club. I know. What happens in there? Absolutely nothing. Nothing, you guys. It's purely bragging rights that's right you're part of the opal club so you get some imaginary badge of honor that you get to wear or imagine yourself wearing you get nothing you're just a part of the opal club and i didn't know that it was such a thing until i started watching some other vloggers and they were like oh yeah you're part of the opal club oh this is awesome yeah yeah it's like what is that but that is basically what happens when you reach 1k subscribers like you it's it's like a rite of passage, basically. So, you know, you have the opal, you have the bronze, you have the silver, you have the diamond, you have the, yeah, silver part of the opal. But yeah, y'all, that is my seven truths about being a 1K content creator and what happens when you reach 1,000 subscribers because clearly no one really tells you what happens. Like, you're like, okay, What's, what's next? What, this next, I reached this goal. So definitely, you guys, stay the course. Keep crushing those goals. It's definitely, definitely important. Try and make sure that you keep increasing your subscribers and also try to increase your watch time because at the end of the day, you guys, you got to keep hustling for those watch hours. But that is going to be it, you guys, for this edition of Just Timber. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, you know what I need you to do. You already know. That is giving me a big thumbs up if you like this video. And you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you, yeah. Well, y'all, that is going to be it for this episode of Just Timber. I hope you guys enjoyed it because let me tell you, me trying to figure out what happens when you reach 1K, y'all, it's, I couldn't find nothing. Maybe I just wasn't looking in the right place, but definitely you guys keep staying the course and keep crushing those goals. Keep working on your watch time. Keep watch, working on your subscribers. Don't get discouraged. Keep pushing forward. But yeah, you guys, that's going to be it for this edition of Just Timber. Make sure you give this video a 
big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you never miss an upload, you guys. And until next time, you guys, I will see you tomorrow on another episode of Just Timber. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.